mechanical component shaft as with rotating machine there are actually two kinds of shaft uh, rigid and fixed those uh, pumps have shaft that carry not only the impellers but various shaft sleeves rotating parts of dynamic seal thirds balancers and coupling components the com the confluence of uh, static and dynamic forces imposed upon a high energy pump shaft demand concerted engineering attention to its design even with the best of design practices the torturous duties of high energy pumps are so pervasive that shaft failures still occur shaft failure uh, of course caused a force outage of the pump as well as reduced power uh, output of the generating unit uh, figure 2.8 shows the most frequent locations for shaft failures in multiple uh, multi-stage high energy pumps Clearly, proper design of the shaft, for example, the correct shrink fits, no square shoulders, manufacturing procedures, heat treatment, con conscious quality assurance, power turking of retaining nuts, and correct alignment are all very important in preventing shaft failures. Coupling. The two basic coupling types used to connect pumps are and drivers are the rigid, adjustable, and flexible. Uh, qu provide a quite complete treatment of all the coupling configurations in use for connecting pumps to their drivers. Close coupled vertical center line pumps utilize a rigid, adjustable coupling that transmit axial load up or down to the motor shaft. The coupling thus combines the motor and pump shaft into a single shaft. Since the weight and axial hydraulic forces of a vertical rotor pump are carried in axial thrust direction by the thrusts bearing, the radial bearing 
uh, support porn do not compete for determining prompter del- driver alignment to the large extent encountered by horizontal loaders. The horizontal loaders usually require flexible coupling to accommodate the unavoidable radial misalignments that occur that accrue from assembly tolerances, differential thermal expansions, support structure shifting, and so on.
flexing element couplings utilize an elastomeric flexure element or a metallic flexure element. An example of each is illustrated. Both re re rendition eliminate the need for lubrication, a significant advantage.